I'm sure many of you have heard about the third-party app Para for gig workers by now. And I'm also betting you've heard about the potential of being deactivated. You've probably even seen posts of people claiming they've been deactivated for using this app. That's all lies, complete BS. In this video, I'm going to share exactly why, what your rights as an independent contractor are, and why you shouldn't have to fear using such a great business tool like the Para app for gig workers. Welcome to the Fact-Based Channel. I'm Gig Coach Jake. Let's get into it. First off, let's address the deactivation thing. In the FAQs on the PAR app, it says, we have not had any PAR users deactivated for any platform using PAR. We're upfront that using our features may be, key phrase, a violation of gig app terms of service. But we believe that this is the right thing to do. Independent contractors have the right to make informed decisions. Yes, these companies should not be able to hide information, to manipulate you as a gig worker, to make bad decisions, which ultimately affect your earnings and your profit margin as an independent contractor and business owner. Now I reached out to Para via email to ask them straight up if anybody to their knowledge has been deactivated from the platform. Their response was, as for the fear of deactivation, there are over 40,000 users who have been using Para since its early days and there's over 280,000 plus actively using the app right now. And they continue to use the app to date because they see value in the product beyond just the tip transparency. Also, from what they hear, there's no record of anyone being deactivated purely from the use of Para. Now, if you know of someone claiming or seen a post where it's Reddit, Facebook, any of those social media sites claiming they were deactivated for using this app, make them show proof. Otherwise, I don't believe anything they say because it's nonsense. There's all kinds of fear mongering out there. There's people that hate apps like this for whatever reason. I don't know. There's also people that bash me for teaching you how to work smarter and all the things I've done over the last few years uh, on this YouTube channel. Blows my mind, right? Now, for those of you that do not think you're a business owner, let me share you here a piece from the terms of service on the DoorDash app. The parties acknowledge and agree that this agreement is between two co-equal independent business enterprises that are separately owned and operated. Yes, you are a business owner and you have the right to have all the information up front to make the most informed decision that you possibly can to ensure that your business is profiting. We don't make money by the hour. We turn a profit loss statement each quarter to the IRS. Terms of service also states that you are free to negotiate your compensation by, among other things, by accepting or rejecting the opportunities transmitted through the DoorDash platform by consumers that can make such decisions to maximize your opportunity to profit. Very clear there. You set your price by accepting or rejecting. But when companies like DoorDash interfere and do not give the accurate information up front, how are you supposed to make an informed decision to maximize your profits? You can't, and they know that. That's why they manipulate the situation, and it's not their right to do so. Let me share another piece as to why. Also in the terms of service, it states, DoorDash has been inserted solely for the safety of consumers and other contractors using the DoorDash platform or to achieve compliance with federal, state, or local laws, regulations, and interpretations thereof. They're just a middleman. That's all they are. That's what they claim to be, and that's how they're allowed to classify us as independent contractors, which we don't want changed. We want to keep that because that allows us the freedom, flexibility, and should allow us the right to maximize our earnings and profits by making informed decisions and using apps like Para to help us do so. Now, Uber Eats, they hide the merchant pickup, for example. Some might think, oh, no big deal. That's to trick you into accepting more delivery opportunities that way you can see that information up front that you already have the right to. 
Again, manipulation at its finest. Now, some people are like, well, why is that a big deal? Well, let me share an example why. Say there's a McDonald's that you pick up at frequently. They've closed the dining room. It's only drive through Normally, you're going to go right in, minimal weight, pick up and leave and be on to the next delivery, allowing you to average four deliveries per hour, let's say. Now it's drive through only. It takes you longer to get through that drive through and you're only able to get three deliveries done per hour. Hmm. But if you have that information up front, you're going to avoid that restaurant until the dining room's open, which allows you to be efficient in your business practices and your decision making. Or another example, a place that always has you waiting. I'm going to reject from that place 100% of the time. I don't even care what they offer. It's just going to hold me up. I can go get two, three deliveries done in the time that, say, this Chili's by me has me waiting. Always a 20-minute wait after I show up, even if I delay the arrival some. It's crazy. I could have already completed one or two more deliveries in that time. Being efficient is going to help you maximize your profits and avoiding places like this. Now with DoorDash, tip transparency, not allowing you to see the payout up front, which helps you ultimately set your price. Manipulating you to accepting more offers, hoping that you get paid out higher in the end. Only so they can benefit while your profit margin goes down as a co-equal business enterprise. Let me share some of the things that you can come to expect from using the PAR app. Again, I'm just here to share the facts and all the information with you all so you can make the best decision whether it makes sense for you to use a third-party app like this. I'm not saying you should go out and use it. I'm just giving the facts and sharing the information made available to me. So let's take a look. Another, another legitimate fear from people is whether their information gets stolen. And here from the FAQs from the PAR app, will PAR steal my information, social security number, taxpayer ID number, etc.? No, we don't access or store any of this information. We aren't able to access certain sensitive information, including bank information. We use the minimum amount of your information in order to provide you the service and nothing more. I don't get on social media too much. I avoid all the negativity, but I'm sure there's plenty of posts out there claiming someone had their account hacked or whatever from using this app. Nonsense. Again, I want to see proof of claims like these, especially coming from random people on Reddit, Facebook, wherever else. TikTok, you name it. People lie. Now, if you're new, you're probably wondering, well, what is PAR anyway? It's a mobile app that allows you to see more data about your order so you can pick the best orders for you and your business. Their mission is to prove the experience of gig workers. We show you the tip amounts like DoorDash. And I'll show some examples up here in just a second. And mileage that delivery platforms are hiding. We're also working on bringing new features to help manage your work. Or it's completely free. And again, they do not keep or sell any of your data their venture back startup. That's how they are able to provide this free service for you. Now, here's some of the features that make this app a valuable tool for many of you. They have the tip transparency, star tip prediction feature that's almost 100% accurate. And I'll show a couple examples here in just a little bit. You can now see if you're delivering to an apartment or a house. Again, I'll show you in the notification box that you're going to receive when using this app that lets you know that way you can make a quick informed decision. And you might be wondering, well, why is that important? Well, back to that efficiency thing. You need to be really efficient to maximize your profits and allow you to make as much money as you can in the shortest amount of time possible. And if you're stuck in an apartment complex, as opposed to dropping off at a house, or it might be in a complex that you know there's a problem, you actually have an option in there to flag it. So if you had a bitter experience for some reason, you can flag a person, apartment, 
or a merchant. And I'll show that feature in a little bit. Now here's what the notification looks like on the incoming screen. You'll see here, there's a DoorDash one from Venezia's. 775 estimated payout. And again, the tip transparency is not 100% accurate, but from what I understand, it's 90% plus. $3 tip, you can see the little symbol there is a house. There's a different symbol for an apartment and the subtotal of the actual payout. And I'll show why that's important here in just a little bit. But a lot of information right there in a quick notification to allow you to make a quick informed decision with all the information you have a right as an independent contractor to have up front. So here's an offer that I was shared that was shared with me for $17.50. Yeah, of course, no brainer. A lot of you accept $17.50, but what if that said $7.50, which is my experience in a lot of cases. Fortunately, I've been doing this so long, I've already cracked the code on where and how they hide certain payouts. I know which dollar amounts I can expect to pay higher, and I can go in and get the other information after accepting, and if I see it's a, a low subtotal, I then have the option to reassign, unassign that offer as long as I keep my completion rating up above 80%, so I don't have to worry about deactivation that way. Now they predict 2740 payout. House, subtotal 99.90, and it gives an estimated drive time. I'm not so sure how accurate that is. The real important information there is the utter subtotal, house, and the estimated payout. The final screenshot that was shared with me, you'll see 2740 exactly. 100% accurate on that particular instance. Let me share another one with you. Here's an offer that shows 1625 guaranteed from DoorDash. Now the PAR notification shows subtotal of 166.22 deliveries to a house and a payout of 51.74. That's a big difference from 1625. Yeah, of course, another situation where 1625 is a little bit of a no brainer. But what if that said 625? Kind of dumb on their part on these longer distance offers where they show a much smaller amount. If they actually showed the real total, people would jump all over those in a heartbeat and it wouldn't keep getting kicked to the next dasher. The actual payout shared with me was exactly 5174. <laughs> what an offer, what a sweet payout, right? I mean, some of you are thinking, I wish I saw offers like that in my area. Well, if you rejected more, you potentially would, but too many of you have such a high acceptance rating, you're never gonna see offers like this. Now this might be a situation where, obviously the order subtotal is $166, it's above 100. This might be somebody who's accepted into the, uh, the higher orders. Uh, so like, they've proved that they have a catering bag and they're fed some of the higher orders. I do myself, and I know what it shows on the app there's certain information. I'm not going to share that in any videos because DoorDash will just go and change that. They will start to hide that stuff. But there's certain verbiage when that offer screen comes in that I know right away that it's going to be a higher paying offer and I accept it. I don't even need to see this. Now here's what it looks like as an apartment. You see a completely different symbol than the house and the subtotal on this one, 1207. I don't know what the payout was, but again, just sharing the information as far as apartment and subtotal. Probably not gonna be a very high payout and it's potentially gonna be a pain in the butt. And here's that flagged offer option I show you. Now you can flag a restaurant, building or individual. And I have a screenshot coming up that shares the symbol you'll see on the incoming offer that lets you know if it's one of those three that you flagged before. Here's an example of a flagged restaurant, the Buffalo Spot. Now, I know this place is notorious for having you waiting forever. They make it on demand, and it's chicken, mostly. So it takes a long time, long wait. Places like that, you're going to want to avoid unless the payout makes up for the time that you're going to probably be spending sitting there. Now, they just released Uber Eats and Uber in certain cities. Now, this was also shared with me. You see the notification comes through, shows the payout, What's important here is the merchant location. 
Now, you want to be efficient. I keep stressing that. And places that are going to keep you waiting that you know of. So if you've been doing this long enough, you're going to be able to take mental note. Or maybe you take write some notes down. Or you use the feature in PAR where you're flagging that actual merchant. It's going to show up there in the notification. That way you can quickly reject and move on to the next one. Now with Grubhub, you don't have to worry about pay transparency. They show the full amount up front as it should be. They don't try to manipulate that situation. And from what I know, they never will. What you will see that's important there is the food ready by time. Grubhub typically sends the offer right after the customers place the order. You're going to have a long wait. And when you have long waits, it's less delivery opportunities you're going to be able to get done in the amount of time that you're on the road, which is going to decrease your earnings and your profit margin. So being able to see when it's ready by allows you to complete another delivery on Uber Eats, DoorDash, or maybe just show up, hit arrived, click the features in there saying order not ready, how long it's going to be, and then yes, I will continue with this delivery or no, you know, unassign it. But again, important information because sometimes it's already ready or about to be ready. You don't always know with Grubhub. More often than not, you're going to be waiting unless it's a fast food place or, or a situation like that. So here's an example coming in. It shows right there the tip, the dollar amount, which you're going to see the dollar amount in Grubhub. Drive time, don't know how accurate that is. Another important feature, you see that's an apartment complex. The drive distance, it shows you dollar per mile. That can be pretty important. That right there, 19.3 miles for 13.49, not a chance. And it's an apartment? No way. Food ready by 7.54. So again, the important things here are the food ready by, whether it's an apartment or house, and the dollar per mile. Very important there. Here's another poor example. 1064 is the offer. Drive time 12 minutes. So I don't see how that's accurate. 15.3 miles. Yeah. Definitely right away I know that's not accurate. It's delivering to a house and food ready by 8.05 p.m. Third example. $7 offer. $0 tip. Sometimes you can get a tip when you arrive, but 90% plus of the time, you're not getting a tip after you arrive. It's not on the app. You're not getting it. Another one where it says drive time, five minutes and 10.8 miles. There's no way. Maybe that's from the restaurant to the location as where the overall miles is 10.8 miles, 65 cents a mile. What a joke. Instant quick reject. Here's one 666, another zero dollar tip. But notice the difference here, a house, that's efficient. Drive distance overall 5.7 miles, dollar 17 per mile. 812 food ready by time. And I don't know when the screenshot was taken, so how long of a wait, but that factors in as well. This is one that's a zero dollar tip that probably is worth taking. My minimum on any delivery offer is six dollars. So with that being said, I would have accepted this before gas prices went up over 50% here in Arizona. Now it needs to be at least $1.50 a mile. One of the last things I want to talk about is with PAR, they have PAR Works, and it's in certain cities right now. All it does is increase your opportunities to do more deliveries. Obviously, as a gig worker, you want to stay busy. You want to maximize the amount that you can make. And the more apps that you run, the better chance that you have of accepting offers that are going to benefit you. You also have the ability to be completing one delivery when you accept another. I love running two apps that are very good. Uber Eats and DoorDash are two of the best to run together because they're both very efficient. You normally don't have much of a wait time. So say that I'm completing an Uber Eats or DoorDash. I am start filtering offers from the other one. I then can accept one that I know once I get this one dropped off and get there is going to be ready for me to pick up and basically go from one to another to another. The more deliveries that you can get done in an hour, the more efficient you're going to be, the more earnings, 
and the higher profit margin. And back to what I said with the dollar per mile thing, very important. So to have a feature like that that already breaks it down with you, especially people that aren't very good at math, it allows you again to make more informed decisions. Now, for example, used to be a dollar per mile. Gas prices in Arizona are over 50% higher than they were a year ago. What does that mean? That means that's 50% less profit margin for those of us here in Arizona. I'm sure it's not much different in a lot of other cities. That means my dollar per mile needs to be higher to compensate for that. Yeah. Now, these companies like DoorDash and Uber were doing that little fuel surcharge or they were paying a little extra if you did so many miles. That's gone. Gas prices keep going up. They're still making tons of money. There's no excuse why these companies can't pay a higher base pay, show all the information up front to allow you to make better informed decisions. In a time like now where inflation is insane, Arizona tops the nation with over 11% increase in inflation. You're paying more for rent, gas, food, you name it. Why don't you deserve to make more money to be able to pay for all those things and have a life that's not so stressful? I guarantee there's plenty of people watching this video right now that work a full-time job. They get off in the evening and they go run the DoorDash app or whatever app from 5 to 8 p.m. and then get up and do it all over again the next day. If you're working a full-time job, working 40 hours plus a week, why are you working for less on these apps? By accepting anything and everything. With that being said, I'm just here to share the facts and the information that this app will bring for you as a business tool. That way you can make the best informed decision on what to do as a business owner. Whether you use the app or not, doesn't matter to me. That's up to you. I'm just here to share the facts and all the information. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you next time.